Oh, folks, we've got problems. We started recording just as we left the links, and by the time we got up here, it had stopped. So we don't know what's going on. We are depressed about it. Suicidal. Suicidal. Tom says he's suicidal. But anyway, we're going to record now while we're stationary. And try and show you a little bit of the looking down at the beach over Port Douglas. And as you can see, there's a swim area there. So you don't get crocodiles on you. He's not joking. Okay, there's, it's not a. Uh, we can't show you a great deal because it's quite bushy, leafy, I should say. There's actually a walk from here down to the car park, but um, I'm not doing that walk today. Forever. No, I've done it in the past. No, I, I said when I left how I was being quite naughty and not wearing a jacket because um, unlike Tom, I suffer terribly with heat and humidity and I just couldn't bear the thought of going around Port Douglas slowly with a jacket on. I will put it on when we start moving shortly. Um, no, don't put it on me. I don't like to be on camera much. <laughs> True beauty should be uh, um, put on public notice. It's very kind for him to say that. But, so there's the walkway down. So you can, there's people jog up and oh, down here. Driveway, you goose. Oh, that's a driveway. Do we come up that way? No. I'm a goose. House. Oh. Well, that's someone's house. And what you a house that would be. You want, but you might get kicked out. Oh, yeah, probably. No, sorry, the walkway's over that side. See, he says true beauty, and then I get called a goose. Oh dear. Oh, this is a driveway as well. Right. Well, there is a walkway somewhere here. Over there. I know. Well, I've just said that. Yeah, I told you that when you will get here, you would remember it. I'm remembering it. Okay, let's try again, shall we? Well, it hasn't turned itself off while we're not on the bikes. Um, hey, speaking of tree beauty, check this out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, I sent up the drone, have a quick look around. That's that swimming area, fenced off for the stingers and crocs, etc. Water's a bit murky, but uh, still cool. Now, around to the river entry, and there's the main shopping precinct, the uh, marina, full of, well, a lot of money of boats there. Coming around into the accommodation, the resorts, and just as I go down here onto this hilltop, these homes here, they must be some value in them. There's that uh, rocky foreshore. All right, guys, there you go. So we'll just test this see how we go but what did I tell you on the way here I said that the Lynx was very very nice um, for the price extremely good and there are price there are expensive ones up here you know three and four hundred dollars a night and all the rest of it but um, I refuse to pay those prices. Look, even if I was rich, I don't think I'd want to pay those prices. I, I think if you've got a... Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. I was playing with the throttle rocker. 
lunged it forward, folks. It's it's um it's moved itself, so I'm going to have to fix that on the next stop. I'll wait till it stops. I just lunged forward because I was trying to fix it. Oh, that's all I had to do. Yep. Dummy me. Thanks. Um. Yes. Yeah, so, what are we talking about? Uh, the accommodation. If you look hard, you'll find something a bit cheaper. I'm a cheapskate. Um. So yes. I will look until I find something clean and decent for a decent price. I just don't see the point in paying big money for accommodation. When you can get a bed and, you know, a TV and some amenities, you know. I don't necessarily have to have things made out of marble and all the rest of it so I'll try and get a little bit of a view out here as I'm going down there's the beautiful mountains it is a lovely view extremely tropical You know, but if someone said to me, would you rather live in Port Douglas or Hobart? I'd say Hobart. I'd rather the cold. I know that's, that it's probably a bit extreme saying that, but oh, you can always escape the cold, I suppose. I guess you can escape the heat as well, but it's always hot here. You know, I love, I love to have a season, not just two, hot and cold. I mean, I love to have a hot and cold and the seasons in between, not just hot and a little bit less hot. And that's what it's like here. This is the main street. And this is the tourist hub, um, which is lovely. And come June, July, August, as Einstein says, this place will be fuller than a state school's hat rack. You'll be flat out getting a car park. And it's quite busy now with cars. I don't see a lot of people. But for the tourist who wants to shop, this is fantastic. Just a lazy day, you know, shopping and sitting at the cafe and eating and drinking. But um, I don't want to shop today because I don't have space for anything and I don't really need anything. wealthy people here notice that that there is called the White House. I think it's a bit different to the White House in the United States. So this looks like it could be an esplanade. Oh it's very windy out there. So this area is what we were looking down on from above.
they're looking pretty old now those uh, units but you know once again because of their location you're paying a premium I don't know how the cyclone would have affected anything up here I didn't hear much about how it affected Port Douglas maybe it didn't actually we're staying somewhere in here tonight um, oh I didn't maybe haven't told you we've decided to stay another night um, there's just a fair bit to get about and see and do and I didn't really want to ride back up to the tablelands today I had a sore back actually I had a really sore lower back yesterday after the ride um, so I didn't really feel like it and we want to go up north a bit and a little bit further so I went online and found a reasonable another good price under 150 um, a bit dearer than where we've just been I suppose I could have stayed again where we were but, but it would have involved checking out and checking back in and I thought ah oh, we'll go for somewhere a bit different um, I think it's called the Mediterranean or something or other. So we have a little apartment tonight. We don't necessarily, we didn't go out for a meal last night. We bought salads from the IGA and went back to the room and ate. And um, probably do much the same tonight, I don't know. We travel on a budget. And if we do go out, it'll just be cafe style or a pub meal or something like that. Once again, old chips gave me. I just don't see the point in paying huge prices. I, you know, to me it's pointless because sometimes, oh, they say you get what you pay for, but I don't know, in some instances you don't, you know, you've just forked out all this money and you think, well, why did I do that? I'm really enjoying this cool air on my arms and shortly it'll be putting the, the jacket on and I won't be happy, but... When I say cool air, it's not cool air if you're standing in it, but while you're riding along it's lovely. I think it's about a month since I've seen my poor old dad but Tanil, our eldest daughter is visiting him while we're away and taking him some treats she says that he's not really understanding what she's talking to him about but he just likes it's, it's just the, the contact of a family member that's nice to me this is what riding is all about just coasting along enjoying the view okay everybody just bought a couple of supplies apples corn chips and we're heading to Mossman before we came in here I was chatting away merrily to you and then the camera just decided to turn itself off no reason it didn't have its instruction to turn off so you know we don't know why these things are happening to us I have my jacket on now not happy about it but uh, one has to be 
safe and it stops me getting sunburned. Coming over already. It probably wants to let these cars go. Yep, camera's working. And I don't know why we're stopping. Just to look at Tom's ugly mug, I suppose. Some houses up there look quite nice. There are the cane trains there. The carriages. Folks, this is Mossman. And if you want a picture framed, you can go there. So I guess you live amongst the cane fields and all the tropical plants and the hills around you. We're heading to Mossman Gorge. The, um, cemetery, which is very well kept. Block of land for sale if anyone wants it. Not me. Mossman Resort. And they have a Woolworths. Doctors, chemists. Oh, all the shops that they need up here, I guess. reason or other I think that little fellow thinks he's racing Tom. He keeps looking at him. <laughs> I can beat you. I don't know what he's trying to prove but anyway I guess he's enjoying himself. Smoke blowing from his ass. Hello, now we're going to have a little show off. I'd say he's only young, I don't know where the, where the law would, um, where he'd be with the law as in to being out. Crossing the roads he'd be in trouble, I suppose he's okay on the footpath, I don't really know. And there's lots of buses in. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we've uh, gone and investigated what's going on here. The, uh, the Mossman Gorge is closed to, to private vehicles, you can't drive up there anymore. Uh, they've opened this centre, uh, interpretation centre, uh, 
where you walk in, you pay, I think it's $14.50 per adult, to board a, a shuttle bus, which takes you up to the gorge. Uh, you can do what you like up there, hop off and look around. I, I, we don't remember the gorge very well. We were there many years ago, and that's why we came back to have a look and possibly uh, get some footage and show you chaps. But uh, no, you're not allowed in there if uh, you want to drive up or walk up. You have to take the coach, you have to pay. And, you know, I guess you can stay up there a while and catch whichever the coach comes back. Uh, and hop back in your car and leave. Now, I don't know. Uh, I just don't like the idea of... Oh, by the way, we're leaving uh, Mossman here, heading out north of Mossman. We're um, going to go up to Daintree from here. Now, I don't know. I just don't like the idea of paying to visit a national park. That's why we pay taxes. The government takes your money and they should uh, let you into a national park. Anyway... That's just me. I'm an old fart. I don't see the way they do things these days. Check these trees out as we come through them. They're uh, very nice. And they've all got uh, this something or other growing on all the trunks. And it's, it looks like it's all covered in that... Uh, well, I don't know what that plant is, but they're very beautiful. Nice old church too. So, chaps, we're going to cut this at uh, this point. Uh, it's already gone long enough. And we will head on up from here to the Daintree Village. Uh, that's opposed to the National Park. Um, the National Park, you have to cross a ferry. across the, You go across the Daintree River. Uh, about $47 for a car return. So you cross that ferry and then you head on up and then eventually you come to the Daintree National Park very beautiful area world heritage listed um, we chose not to go there on this trip for time uh, and also well mainly the time we wouldn't have got back into port douglas um, so we're going to go from here to daintree village have a look around there and then come on back down and get back into port douglas and spend the night there and then tomorrow we'll head south from Port Douglas and redo that coastal run and back up the uh, Karanda Range, which we did film yesterday, all of that, but we lost it. So, mm, we're not good. <laughs> we are having a few problems technically. Let's put it that way. Anyway, guys, look, thanks for watching up to here. We, uh, we will take it up again in part two. And I uh, hope you come back and see what hijinks we can, we can come up with. Thanks, guys.